What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Ronzo here, and today is going to be the Cell Games. Well, sort of, not really. It's going to be the boss event against Super Perfect Cell, the strength tab that just came out, and we're going to take him down. Well, today we're actually going to do something differently, and I don't know why I never actually do this uh, in my Awakening videos. We're actually going to Awaken Cell first, because normally what I do is, is I'll fight Cell or whatever boss several times, and if I catch the card, summon the card, not catch the card, if I get the card, then uh, I'll do one last fight, and then I'll Awaken the card at the end to kind of show off the Awakening process. Well, I realize it's kind of stupid because uh, that doesn't really show off the card. So today what we're going to do is we're going to kick the video off with an awakening first. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this actually in the boss event to kind of sh show you guys how awesome the cell actually is. And uh, before I start, this is going to be my team. I'm actually going to temporarily replace Broly because, well, he is obviously a uh, physical type and he's not going to do that well against uh, strength cell. But for now, this is going to be a team I'm going to jump in with. And before I actually, you know, continue, I have to first train him. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, friend summons first, feed him to my cell, and then when we come back, we're going to go ahead and jump into the Super Perfect Cell a boss event and try to complete without using items and stones, which is going to be pretty easy, I think. So yeah, we're right back. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So I actually play with the cell event all day, obviously, since I have to get the medals before I start recording this video. And I got to admit, this has been one of the most easiest boss fights that has ever came out in Dokkan in a very, very long time. I mean... Obviously, I have the luxury of having the better cards, and I've been actually doing a all-villain team with Goku Black, the Super Saiyan Rose version, as the leader because uh, I like running a rainbow team against them. Most people seem to be using Super Vegito because obviously strength tab at the end is what you want to get the advantage for, but the only weakness with running a Super Vegito team is the second part of the fight is actually a, um, whatchamacallit, a, a tech version cell fight, so you'll have to kind of struggle with that, but if you're running a AGL team with sealers, you're fine. Also, for a second, can we just appreciate the moment uh, for the fact that Bandai added this refresh button? It's the most beautiful thing in the world. What I want you guys to do is, is to those who love the refresh button, hashtag refresh button in one word in the comment section below as many times as you can because I, this is so awesome. I mean, previously, what you would have to do to get the right uh, team to spawn is you'd have to just play it through quests and use up stamina and it'll be really, really annoying because if you just go back and forth, back and forth, and you will still won't get the car you're looking for as a freaking leader. But now we have the luxury of this refresh button, which global, hang on, it's going to come out eventually when a 3.0 update comes out. So it's coming out sometime soon. But everybody else in the JP version, if you love this refresh button as much as I do, hashtag refresh button down below. Uh, I'm actually just going to cut this part right here because I need Goku Black to spawn and he's not popping up. So uh, I guess the second I find a Goku Black spawn, we'll continue the video. So I'll be right back. All right, and this is the team we're gonna be running with. We got Goku Black, I got the Cell, the new one, Omega Shenron, Buhan, Cell, almost said Cell, Frieza, Janimba. And uh, I gotta say, I'm, 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 I'm in love with this team. I know uh, Super Vegito is still the best team to run, or Mono AGL team, but honestly, I have had so much fun playing with a uh, all villain team consisting of the cards that I have right now. It's just so much fun. You get so many perks and it's just, it makes it a lot more enjoyable, and that's kind of like what uh, I'm going to go for from now on whenever I craft my teams around this game. Okay, let's see. We're not going to get that much key here, but that's okay because obviously the advantage we have with an all-villain team is the fact that we get so much freaking key. Lots of key. As long as I have two Goku Blacks uh, or one Goku Black per uh, round every single time. So i got to make sure I keep Goku Black in the middle or in the first slot the entire time and not really put him in the third slot because that's going to be kind of a disadvantage for a turn or two while waiting for him to come back. All right, so this is probably the most annoying part of this fight. Uh, so this cell, actually, let's see if I can do this. This cell has uh, an attack all attack. So what we're going to do here is, is we'll put you like this. Like I said, I want to keep you there. I'm not really going to aim at anybody real fast. So what I'm going to do here is, is I want to save. Okay, I need I need something with two. What's something with two? Here's two right there. So we're going to save those two for cell when we get to the end right, like that. So watch this. This is what makes this cell cool because he has an attack all uh, attack if you have 11 key used. So I think uh, 10 key is a, is a solar Kamehameha, 12 key is a solar Kamehameha, uh, and then the 11 one is a attack all where he actually explodes. And uh, when he turns, he turns back into, into like a second form cell, which I have not seen the animation yet other than what was posted on Twitter, but he turns back into the second form cell and explodes. So let's go ahead and watch that for the first time um, in a couple of seconds. There it is. Third attack. See, he spits out 818 and then explodes and attacks everybody on screen. Woo, look at that. That's so dope. I like that. I like that a lot. That's going to be so useful in a world tournament. Okay. So there you there you go. That's what that looks like. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually put you back here because I want to have Frieza there to basically block. Like I said, I don't really care about who we're attacking. So let's like knock out the intelligence one first. Uh, sure. Just kill that. 
do your thing. I, you don't have to worry about the, the Cell Juniors, they're just kind of there. Unlike the, the Frieza quest, where you have to fight all the Frieza squad people first, where you fight uh, Shisame, Shorbei, Togoma, and Frieza, that was an annoying first round. This right here, you breeze through. I hadn't had any problems at all. I haven't died one time in, in this entire boss event farming that I did this morning. I hadn't had any issues. I think I used a total of two Sensu Bean out of uh, like 10 fights. <laughs> So this is like a really easy fight, but of course, then again, I have the luxury of having the team that I have where Buhan, number one, is healing me, and two, I have everybody else who's just putting in incredible work. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I uh, probably should have saved those purples for for Buhan, but that's okay. You can, you can have these instead. You know what I love about my, uh, my Buhan and my Janimba is I, ha I think for Buhan, I have it as well, but my Janimba can attack twice. Uh, he has a chance of attacking twice. Let's see if we can pull that off in this video. Can you do it again? Okay, n never mind. Just one, one attack. But Janema can attack twice, and he can also has a chance to dodge because I was uh, working on him this past week in new dupe system uh, by powering him up. So let's go ahead and finish off this round and get into the actual fight against Cell. Cell Sama. Did this Cell Junior really just survive? Like, come on, bruh. Okay, let's go ahead and do a stronger attack. How about we do uh, here? Let's do this. Let's do the Solar Kamehameha. Let's do that. Let's see how much damage that does against his own kids. How evil is this? I'm making Cell kill his own kids right now. This is kind of cruel, actually, when we think about it. Okay. By the way, if you did do any summons, uh, feel free to share what you pulled down below. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, look at it. Super Attack 1. I haven't even worked on this yet in... Uh, what was that? What, what, what type was that? Oh, uh, that was um, physical type. No wonder. I was like, why did he do so much damage? Duh, physical type. Um, I have not worked on him at all yet in the dupe system or anything else, but I'm going to work on him over the course of the next couple weeks. Okay. What we got? So the smart thing to do would be to keep Goku back there, or Goku Black back there, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I will swap these guys like this. Uh, I have the type advantage, obviously, with Janimba right now. Uh, I'm hoping he does not super attack Goku Black. If he does not super attack, I hope he does it actually in uh, the first turn against Janimba, because Janimba is going to tank it. So let's, fingers crossed that he does. Um, also, I want to see him do, a, do double attack. I'll show off the double attack, Janimba. Do it twice. Attack again. Good. You know he wants to. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to, but hey, at least we got the enemy attack. Uh, also, I'm gonna ask you guys if you have fought him, what cards they're using. Comment it down below. Uh, and what team do you prefer? I guess uh, do you prefer more of a mono team or like a rainbow team? Does anybody even have a villain team like this? I guess kind of share what you're using down below, and we can kind of discuss and talk about it. Okay, here we go. So the only thing to know about this uh, cell fight is the fact that this fool, literally, literally, will heal every freaking turn and it's really annoying so let's go ahead and blast them with the let's blast them with that and then you can have these i'm trying to like figure out who should get uh, all the massive orbs uh for buhan and then we'll do this so buhan's going to actually tank those hits at the end there and hopefully do the kamehamehas so let's go ahead and blast with another solar kamehameha how much that does 169,000. still really disgusting see there it is but the thing is is i'm doing so much damage to him it's not a problem for me. I mean, if he's going to be healing 375,000 every single turn, but lose half a million every single turn, I got nothing to worry about. And this is one of the reasons why I prefer running a um, all rainbow team as opposed to mono AGL team. Mono AGL team here, you can kind of suffer because there's a possibility that you could do a lot less damage than him basically just healing this entire time, which can get pretty annoying. So let's go ahead and swap these guys again. I want to make sure I keep um, Goku Black in the middle there. I know a smart thing right now would be to actually toss out uh, Frieza to tank that hit, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, shoot. Those purples. I'm going to save those purples for Buhan, actually. Because that's going to be a lot of health back. So I'm going to go ahead and dodge a quick turn of doing like 150,000 damage with Frieza, but that's okay. We'll make up for it next turn when Buhan steps on the field and just basically destroys it. Luckily, he's not healing this turn from the looks of it. I didn't see if he had the icon up. Um, but when he transforms into the last round into a strength type, he literally heals every single turn. And he heals for a lot, a lot more. So that's when you want to focus more on hitting really, really hard. And that's where Goku Black really shines, as well as Super Vegito if you're running a mono AGL team. All right, so this is what we're going to do. So we got, uh, we don't have, freak, dang it, we don't have uh, Buhan this turn. So I'm going to actually sacrifice, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice all these purples. That's okay, whatever. We'll do that. You can have this. And then uh, Omega, who's also going to do me a big solid favor this turn. He's also going to reduce uh, his attack by 30% this turn. So if he does do a super attack, I'm not really that worried about it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and finish this fight off. Look at that. Look how, look how fast this fight goes. Yeah, see, see, he heals for a lot every single turn. But, like, it's like 
it's it's not that much. It's not that much yet. I think on the final turn is actually when he go, does a lot more HP. For a second, I got mixed up. I was like, I'm already in the last turn, but I don't realize, oh yeah, that's right. I still have to get through the tech tap first. One thing that I do want to always do here is I want to make sure that I get pa get past. Uh, let's put you in the end over here. Um, I always want to make sure that I get past uh, this form before I get the Dokkan attack. And as you can see, the Dokkan attack is coming up very, very soon. So I want to make sure that I get the advantage so I can start off the next turn as his strength type with a full-out Dokkan attack and basically destroy his health. Because a full-blown full Dokkan attack with Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black is like 800,000 points uh, in damage. So looks like we're going to actually get that from the looks of it. Uh, there was a couple times where I got unlucky. Look at that. Where I got unlucky and literally every single turn he would heal. And I ended up missing the Dokkan attack uh, in the tech. Well, I, I would miss the Dokkan attack in the strength type. Because I would have to use it early because he kept healing in his tech form. Alright, so this is supposedly when it gets hard. But it's actually not that hard at all. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and sweep through this fight like it's nothing. So we're going to go ahead and put Goku Black up there first. We'll do this. Uh, and that's going to get me a Dokkan attack in a couple seconds. Let's do this. And Frieza! Take this. There we go. Dokkan mode. Alright, if he does a super... There it is. It's only going to do like 30,000 damage, so I'm not worried about it. Like, I can you see 35,000. I can tank so many hits using Goku Black. This is why I love running this team. It's so awesome. Alright, whereas with the Mono team, you have to worry about uh, having to deal with like the disadvantages. So, for example, when you're fighting against a tech type and you're running an all AGL team, that's where it can get kind of iffy, especially the fact that he's healing every single turn. But if you can switch types and basically use different types to block, especially if you're running Janimba and Buhan, you are fine. Look how much damage it's going to do. And this is my this is my uh, Goku Black. I think the other one I brought... Ooh! Super Attack 2 right there. I think the other Goku Black that I brought was a Super Attack... Um, I think he was like a 4? Either 4 or 2. But either way, he's already on green! He's already on green! That's disgusting, man. Oh, this is going to be a short-lived fight. Really, really easy. Uh, overall, though, I gotta say I'm impressed. I really, really like this uh, Cell card. Because the thing is, it's like... Cell was one of my favorite cards in this game in the early days, but the problem was, it's like, as more cards start coming out, there was no reason to use Tech Cell anymore, there was no reason to use um, the other Cell, Intelligence Cell, um, and this one is great because it has Shock and Speed. This one is great, it has Shock and Speed, and it links with other cards, especially it links great on the villain team, and that's why I'm like so excited that they made uh, Cell come back and be actually useful in Dokkan Battles. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and finish him off, I think, this turn, and that's gonna be the end of the fight. Unless he barely survives and he heals 400k. Let's see what happens. No, we got the KO! It's game over. See, he would actually heal for, like, um, 437,000 HP, I think. That's how much he heals for in the final part. And I'm sure there's probably some kind of link available out there that, uh, reduces that, but honestly, if you're running a team like this that's just blazing him, it, you got nothing to worry about. So, yeah. Anyway, so let me know your overall thoughts in the comment section below on Cell. Do you guys like him, dislike him? Uh, any things uh, that you want to post analysis-wise? What do you think he would be go, go great with? For example, he'd be probably incredible with an Omega Shenron team. But again, he's also awesome on running in this team as well. So let me know your thoughts, basically anything on the card down below. And also, as a random question of the day, how are you guys doing? I know a lot of you guys are getting ready to do midterms and finals and stuff. And I want to know how everybody's doing mentally outside just YouTube stuff, just like in general to kind of talk to people. So feel free to share anything down below uh, in the comment section as well. Or even tweet me, I rhyme style. So yeah. Anyway, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed us today. If you have fun today's video, make sure you leave a like right below. Any other questions, comments, feedback, you know how this works. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Rhyme Style, and I will see you all your awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.